Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply glitch effect to any photographs in Photoshop. The steps are very simple. I'm going to show you three ways to create out this effect. In the first way, I'll be using the rectangle selection tool to create the glitch effect. In the second technique, I'll use the wave option under distort and use the filter gallery option to create out the patterns. And in the third technique, I'll show you how you can use the channel option to create out the RGB colors and use the pattern overlay option to apply the pattern. And lastly, I'll show you how we can use this technique to create out a nice text effect. So let's begin with the designing process. So let's see how we can create this glitch effect. So uh, for the first technique, let's open this image in Photoshop. And here is our image. So the first thing we're going to do is to, if your image is colorful, just convert this image to black and white. So for that, go to image adjustment and desaturate the color. So just desaturate it and make it black and white. Now I'll just create a duplicate of this and I'll double click on it and open the RGB color. So over here, as you can see under blending option, you got RGB colors. So what I'll do is I'll just uncheck the R and click OK. So if I click and drag, you can see the color. Now I'll create under duplicate of this. And for this, I'll just uncheck green as well and keep the blue and click OK. And if I drag it over here, around here, you can see the blue color as well. Now if I go over here and increase this level, so with the all press, I click and drag. And as you can see, I'm reducing the blue color. So what I need over here is, I want to reduce the yellow color. So if I drag it and increase it, you can see over here, I have reduced the yellow tone on that image. So just click and increase this number and reduce the yellow option. Now, as you can see, I got a nice color option over here, just like this. So I'll just go over there and I'll just play around with the position of the image. So I'll just keep it a little further like this. Second one, I'll just move it with the arrow just to see the red and blue combination. And I think this looks good. Now, once you are done applying the RGB color, next thing we're going to do is to apply the glitch effect. For the first technique, I'll be using the rectangle selection tool and just select the pieces which you want. But before that, unlock the layer, group them up, control G. Then I'll just duplicate a group, control G or command J to create a duplicate and merge the group. So we got a rasterized image. Now with the selection tool, just select a region and with the control pressed and with the arrow key, just move. And you see you have created a small cut out effect over there. So I'm going to create a large region and do the same stuff. So I'm shifting it to a little bit size. So we'll be doing this step for a multiple number of time until you get that nice cut out effect. So this process is going to be a little lengthy here. I'm just trying out and cutting a piece and just moving it all around, make a bigger selection and just move left or right whatever direction you want to give and to give some interesting looks what you can do is just uh, select a small portion of this and then just shift it and move it on the empty space and that will give you that interesting effect over here as you can see very simple but a very small uh, detail over there and giving you some nice effect so we have to continue doing this and this uh, way you can create nice like glitchy effect. So here is our effect using the rectangular selection tool. Now next thing we're going to do is to apply a pattern. So for that, uh, for the first technique, I'm going to use an image. So I ha already have an image for a glitchy. So a scale lines image, I'll just drag and drop it over the image and scale up the size and place it on top. And then for this, change the blend mode to overlay and this will apply a nice line and details on top. We'll reduce the opacity around 30 or 40 for according to our design. Keep a slight detail of it like this and what I'll do is I'll add a brightness and contrast and increase the brightness and increase the contrast as well and this will bring out that nice detail and then I'll add a level and uh, just make sure brighten that up a little bit more and this one let's increase the brightness a little bit 
like this. So this way, uh, this is the first technique to create out the glitch effect. Now let's look at our second technique. So for the second technique, I'll open this image in Photoshop and here is our image. So for our second technique, what we're going to do is to first convert this image into black and white. And if you're interested in keeping it color, that's fine. But uh, for our design, I'm keeping this black and white. So our image is already black and white, so I don't need to change it. But if it's change, desaturate the color. Now I'll just create a duplicate of this and go over here and I'll just uncheck R and then just move it. And to give some different effect to this, what I'll do is I'll just create a duplicate of this and go over here and for this I'll keep it blue and I'll just move it on the other side like this and if I change the blend mode to overlay I can see both the effects red is there blue is there and as well as green is also there like three layers of interesting effect like that over here I've given that effect to our image and that gives us this cool effect so and uh, once you have applied your RGB colors, next thing we're going to do is to group them up, command G. Then I'll create on the duplicate of it, like merge the group and this will convert this into rasterized layer. Now let's apply the glitch effect. So, so to apply the glitch effect, we'll be using the wave option. So before that, use the selection tool and select some regions where you want to apply the glitch effect. So for the shift press, select all the places where you want to apply the glitch effect. And with the all press, I'll just subtracting some region from our selected region like this. Now, once you have made a selection to all over the region where you want to apply the glitch effect, I'll go to filter, distort and wave. And under wave, you got some options here. So over here, here's our, our preview option where you can see what's happening over there. Right now, it's sign triangle or square. So let's change it to square. We want our effects to be like in the square shape and then here you can decide the number of generator so i'll just keep it around two if you increase the generator number it will add more uh, like details to it so i want some lesser number so i'll add it two now let's adjust the wavelength so as you can see if i increase the wavelength this blocks become bigger and this one uh, we can move around and over here with the amplitude and with the scale i'll increase the scale and it will increase the like uh, cutout effect. So let's keep it a little less. We'll keep this a uh, vertical to zero because we want it horizontally, not vertically. So I'll keep it zero horizontal scale around, I think 10 or 18 for this image. The settings may differ with different images as well as size. So we'll keep it like this. All these features are helping me decide what effect I want to give. So you have to just use this slider and check out which effect you want to see in your image like this. And I see, I think this looks good and I'll click OK. So let's see the effect command D to deselect. And we got some interesting uh, like effect over here. So uh, we have to follow this step two or three times to get different looks so right now i'll just select this portion now this portion then again this portion like this and go to filter the start wave and over here now i'll try to give some different random so go over here in just the value change something and then click ok and this will add a more uh, glitchy effect over there i want to add some more details over here around here around here so with the shift press i'm adding the selection uh, just around the eye and mouth region i'll go there filter distort and wave and over here let's do some movements as you can see you can see the changes over here you can adjust the wavelength and the number of sections you want to add i'll just keep it around like this this will increase the like distance let's keep it like this and let's see okay this looks good so i have given that now let's add some interesting effect as you can see in our original design i have given some wave style over here and over here as well here also i have added some little bit of a wave style so i'll just go back to my image and let's add some wave style so select this region then i'll select this region and then a little bit of this region let's apply this so i'll go to filter the start wave and this 
stem let's select sign and let's start adjusting the wave so this will give you that nice and i'll increase this wave keep the horizontal to the minimum and i'll increase this wave and let's play around with the wavelength so this will increase the numbers and this will adjust the height of the wave so let's keep it a little less if i increase it the wave number of wave increases as well as the amplitude also increases i'll just keep it two and this is less if i keep five you can see some effects so let's keep it five for our design and command d and here you go we got an interesting effect over here so let's apply a pattern there is a technique to apply a pattern you don't need to go outside the photoshop and bring an image you can do that very easily by adding a new layer maybe let's add a new layer apply all backspace let's apply it with white color now just go to filter and filter gallery and under here go to sketch under sketch click halftone pattern and under half tone pattern you have to select lines and here's our lines and uh, as per our image just adjust the size we need the size around 8 8 looks fine and this one i'll in contrast to full 50 to get that sharp edge if you want a soft edge lines you can just give a little bit lesser and click ok so i'll just click ok and here's our image now let's change the blend mode to soft light and let's reduce the opacity and as you can see we have got that nice interesting parallel lines patterns over our image and this way we have created under a glitch effect for our third technique let's open up this image and here's our image so for the third technique what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the apply the rgb color in a different way and to do that what you can do is it's very simple just go to the channels over here select the r red and then switch on the rgb colors and using the selection tool this just move the image so if you move it you can see you have moved the red color in the same way you can select the green and then just move the green as well so you got an interesting effect over here just move around with the red and green color give a nice cool color combination so here's our image as we have applied the rgb color in a very simple steps just took me three to four seconds this was very simple now next step is to apply glitch effect and to apply the glitch effect i'm going to use both the technique first and second technique to show you how you can use those together in one image so first let's select the rectangle tool and i'll just do some important details i want to give so create a duplicate of our original image and i'll work on the duplicated version so i'll just select a region which i want to change and with the control or command pressed click the arrow button to move the section do some adjustment with the details select them and just move them around so i'm just making some main changes which i want and then i'll use the wave option to add more details and overall i think feel like this looks good now let's move on to our next technique the second technique which i have used so to do that let's make some selections so i'll do the selection so i'll just select this portion then with the ship pressed add up this portion a little bit then with the neck portion and then a little bit of this now i'll go to filter the start and wave and under wave we'll do the adjustment so i'll keep it to square for now and i'll reduce the scale vertical value to minimum and increase the horizontal one so as you can see you can preview it so i'll just keep it around this and i'll increase this wavelength so that we got a bigger changes over there and then we'll also move around with this amplitude so how much shift you want to your image so i'll just keep the value higher and, and i'll try to reduce this number so that we can get lesser details to our image because that adds a lots of sections and i don't want that and i think let's try out with this and come on control d and here you can see it has added some nice effect now let's add few more details so i'll just select this portion and this portion and this portion and now i'll go to filter the start wave and this time i'll try to give some sign that's wavy and let's increase the number to five to increase the number of waves over there and i'll just play around with this value so let's increase the waves increase this height so that we can see what's going on over there here and reduce the height 
and then we just so let's keep it like this and command D and here we go we got an interesting effect to our image now I did some interesting design over here I just cut out some pieces to give some interesting look to our image so you can manually do that just make a selection with the control or command press just click and drag and move it outside and using these two techniques you can create an interesting design very easily so and command D so here is our cutout effect now let's apply the pattern and to apply the pattern there is a another way to apply a pattern and that's very simple the first way was using importing scale line image the second way was going to filter gallery and under sketch you have applied the halftone effect now this third technique is the most simplest one so I'm going to show you so for that it's very simple you can either add a solid color or a new layer it's fine I'll this time I'll apply a solid color and for that I'll just double click on it and apply pattern overlay so just stick it and under pattern overlay over here I got some patterns and to get that patterns these patterns I think you'll find it under web patterns so just click on it and append it and you got a list of patterns over here you can choose any patterns you like you can either choose this parallel line or horizontal or vertical or diagonal so it's fine I think for our design I want these kinds of parallel lines so I'll just select this and you can adjust the size the best thing for this technique is you can anytime come inside and change the size of the pattern for the first one and the second technique you don't have the control to do that but for this technique you can anytime you can come in just go inside and change the size and now I'll change the blend mode to soft light and then reduce the fill value around very less like this and then you can uh, go inside over here and just uh, with the all pressed just click and just increase this slider and this will reduce the details on the image like that and lastly I'll just add a level just to increase the contrast or maybe you want to increase the brightness here's our third image we have seen the three techniques now uh, using those three techniques let's see how you can create some cool text effect like this so as you can see over here I've given some nice effect this is using the wave option so let's do that so I'll just open a new document over here uh, let's I'll keep the dimension 1000 by 1000 and create now let's fill this up with black color command backspace and type our text so I'll just type out text and under text attribute panel will reduce the spacing to around 20 scale the size go to a text over here and let's look up for a text which suits our design so uh, I think this is the text which you're looking for scale the size now let's work out to create that effect now to do that what I did over here is select both layer and just merge the layers and this will give us one image so here the next thing we're going to do is to make a selection so i'll use the rectangle tool and click and drag and make a selection like this now go to filter distort wave and under wave to select sign and start adjusting the value so for this uh, i'll keep it three so three uh, gives you a little more little less detail now let's adjust the uh, wavelength so i'll reduce the wavelength to increase the number of waves adjust the amplitude and I keep it around this and for this we are uh, adjusting the horizontal scale because we don't want any vertical ones so I'll just keep it to minimum adjust and try to get a interesting design so that and I think this looks good I click OK and here is a pattern now next thing we're gonna do is to match the top and bottom text according to the ends of the design so for that create a duplicate of this image hide the lower one to this I'll just apply mask and I'll create two more duplicates and I'll just hide out the top two then this over here now what I'll do is I'll add a new layer on bottom and apply black color to it or backspace and unhide this one and selecting this mask reverse the selection with the command control I you can reverse the masking region now what I need is I want to see only the bottom portion so I'll make a selection like this and apply like black color to it and it will hide it out now deselect it command or control D then selecting the layer command or control T and just 
move it so i'll just move it to match it with the ends of the text now i'll do the same for the top one as well so i just like this one and hide it so here's our image just select the mask and inverse the selection like that now using the selection tool we'll hide out the lower region so apply alt backspace select the layer Control t and just move it and place it according to the ends of the text that's all now what i'll do is i'll just like oil and group them up and then command or Control j to create duplicate then merge the group and now let's apply rgb tone so for that let's create under duplicate and just go inside the blending option and here we'll uncheck this and leave the blue one and if i move it you can see blue and yellow tone so this looks good this color combination looks fine so i'll just keep it like that and what we'll do some modification so command control t and open the wrap option and just may try to make the ends going inside the text so just like this a little bit of like that like this and the center portion will try to make it like coming out like this and here is some interesting sign now i'll just add a text below so here is our final result so finally we have completed creating uh, the glitch effect i have shown you three ways to create out this effect in the first technique we have seen how we can use rectangular selection tool to create the glitch effect in a second technique i have seen how we can use this distort option here you can see wave option we have used it to create out this effect and in the third technique we have seen how we can use this channel option to create the rgb colors and we can use both the techniques to create an interesting design and lastly i have used those techniques and created this nice text effects so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you